Concrete floors are characterized by high quality and durability. Concrete flooring is able to withstand pressure from movement of heavy equipment and loading of materials. This lecture introduces you to various techniques of improving aesthetics and durability of concrete floors. Concrete floors represent a significant investment for any industry. Despite this, it is often the most neglected and abused part of the structure. Apart from the mechanical abuse, spillages of various kinds of chemicals also occur often weakening the reinforcement and concrete surface. The need to protect the surface or enhance its appearance with a suitable coating is quite obviously there. Floor hardeners are embedded in the top surface to achieve a dense and a tough surface, capable of withstanding the abrasion and impact loading seen by floor slabs in a wide range of commercial, industrial and manufacturing facilities. The hardeners are commonly spread by hand, however, use of a spreader should be encouraged to achieve better finish. They are of two types of hardeners, metallic and non-metallic. Ionite, cement mixed with iron dust, is the most common type of metallic hardener used. The hardeners can also boost light reflectivity in excess of 50%. The non-metallic hardeners are widely used now. They are available in wide range of attractive colors. They become intrinsic part of concrete, have excellent mechanical properties, and provide floors that are tough and long-lasting. The hardeners should be applied using a spreader, for even distribution. It should be spreader in two portions. Allow the first shake to remain unworked on the surface, until it has absorbed all the surface moisture and a dark uniform surface color is achieved. Then use a floater till all the hardener gets mixed with top concrete surface. Then immediately apply the second shake, for a leveled and uniform surface. The application rate depends traffic of the floor, and the impacts which floor is expected to resist. For lighter traffic 3 kg per square meter is sufficient. For heavy traffic, 5 kg per square meter is applied. The final thickness of a dry shake finish should be 2 to 3 mm. The necessary application rate to achieve this depends on bulk density of the dry shake. Sealing and protection. It protects the concrete surface by providing protection against contamination and chemical attack by imparting a film forming layer on the surface of the concrete. This protective layer also adds a measure of abrasion resistance to the concrete surface. They provide added advantage of providing glossy appearance, and are also available in colors, to further enhance appearance. The products are solvent or water based. Concrete polishing is the most significant flooring finish alternative followed in last couple of decades. It is a mechanical process by which the surface of the concrete is ground and polished using a penetrating hardener to yield a surface that exhibits reflectivity and increased abrasion resistance. It makes the surface to shine like crazy, which is also long-lasting and sort of permanent. All one have to do is wash it with water to maintain it. After polishing, densifiers such as sodium, potassium or lithium silicates are used. These chemicals react with the concrete itself. This reaction fills in the natural pores and voids in the concrete and provides a dense, hard surface that is easy to clean. The concrete is densified internally and inorganically. There is nothing to wear off the surface, nor is there anything to re replace. The same reaction also makes the surface much harder and resistant to abrasion. In addition, the floor surface is rendered free of dust. Polishing can be done by wet or dry methods. Dry polishing, although each has its advantages, dry polishing is most commonly used in the industry because it is faster, more convenient and environmentally friendly. With dry polishing, no water is required. Instead, 
the floor polisher is hooked up to a dust containment system that vacuum up virtually all of the mess. Wet polishing Wet polishing uses water to cool the diamond abrasives and eliminate grinding dust. Because the water reduces friction and acts as a lubricant, it increases the life of the polishing abrasives. The chief disadvantage of this method is the cleanup. Typically, dry polishing is used for the initial grinding steps, when more concrete is being removed. As the surface becomes smoother, and crews switch from the metal bonded to the finer resin bonded diamond abrasives, they generally change to wet polishing. Floor Coatings An increasing awareness of the drawbacks of concrete as a substance, is now resulting in wider acceptance of floor coatings. The coatings handle all the stresses. They withstand constant traffic and mechanical wear along with abuse from things like corrosive liquid, high temperature and heavy impact. High-performance epoxy and polyurethane coatings provide an attractive appearance are chemical and abrasion resistant and are tough and long-lasting. However, these coatings are very sensitive to flatness of the surface. There are special coatings called EST coatings that protect your work environment against electrostatic discharge and deliver proper grounding of the human body and footwear. The coating discharge to a desired controlled ground point. There are slip-resistant texture coatings for reduced injury risk on wet surfaces. Seamless, easy to clean, coatings come in a variety of colors, surface textures, both in matte and glossy finish, and do wonders for facility aesthetics. Concrete industrial floors must fulfill a number of very specific requirements, adequate flatness limited cracking and especially sufficient loads capacity. Any break of the requirements and the subsequent failure of the floor structure would cause difficult repairs and expensive unplanned shutdowns. The technology of design and construction of industrial floors has advanced tremendously due to new materials and new types of techniques of construction.